A federal appeals court sides with the state of Arkansas in its legal battle with the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, or simply Pharma, a trade group representing drug, uh, giant drug makers like Johnson & Johnson, Eli Lilly, and Pfizer. The group had sued the state over a law passed in 2021 that protected the wider distribu distribution of discounted medication to safety net health care providers in Arkansas. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley joins us in studio now with more. Andrew. The ruling on Tuesday by the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals ensures that Arkansans under the poverty line will have greater access to cheaper medication, at least until pharma appeals it to the Supreme Court. It's all about a federal program called 340B, which requires pharmaceutical companies participating in Medicaid to sell discounted medication to hospitals and clinics serving low-income, uninsured, and rural communities. Community Health Centers of Arkansas, a nonprofit association, is one such provider. CHCA says it has over 230 sites across Arkansas serving about 1 in 10 Arkansans. After pharmaceutical companies tried to lower the number of pharmacies that could provide the discounted drugs to such clinics around the state, Arkansas's legislature legislature stepped in and passed Act 1103, which safeguards wider access to the discounted drugs. So it prevented restricting us down to one pharmacy so that you can distribute medications to more patients. You have more access points for patients to get their medications. So these medications are very expensive and patients many times cannot afford them on their own. So we want to be able to pass off those discounts. Pharma Big Pharma, large companies, wanted us to not use contract pharmacies so they wouldn't have to give discounts or money back to so many entities. According to CHCA, in some circumstances, pharma disallowed distribution of discounted medications from any pharmacies at all for some community health centers around the state, demanding that 340B discounts instead be handled through in-house pharmacies. But many local clinics simply don't have their own pharmacies. We have 12 health community health center entities, and what pharma really wanted to see was those entities use one pharmacy. Well, the interesting thing thing about that is most community health centers cover several counties and so if you're in the county next door you may have a 30-minute drive to get to a, a pharmacy. CHCA intervened in pharma's lawsuit against the state in 2021 to protect its patients. In 2022 the lawsuit was defeated in district court then appealed to and defeated yesterday at the 8th circuit the second federal court to uphold Act 1103. This ruling helps the entities hospitals health centers clinics to reduce some of the strain that has been put on our system through some of the restrictions that are in place. And so our hope out of this is that, again, we can continue to expand on those programs that ultimately benefit the patients of Arkansas. Farmer has argued that Arkansas's law safeguarding wider distribution of 340B discontinued drugs is uh, discounted drugs, excuse me, is preempted by federal law. But as we see now for the second time, federal court disagrees on your side. I'm Andrew Mobley. Okay, Andrew, thanks a lot. There's no word yet whether Pharma will appeal the Eighth Circuit Court's decision to the Supreme Court, but the state and the community health centers of Arkansas say they are prepared for that if and when it does happen.